Hi folks, Pretend Commodore Tony reporting for duty. That's right, that's me folks, Pretend Commodore Tony to discuss with you one of my favorite topics, the goily men, cowards of Sea Shepherd who continue to provide me with endless material to poke fun at them. That's me poking fun at the cowards. That's <laughs> But here's what the lugheads are doing. Look at this video at them launching flares onto the Japanese deck. Now their dinghy there, whatever that is, is behind the ship. It's out of sight. You can't see it. But look. just flares. They're harmless. What are you getting all excited about? So says you to me. To which my reply is, really? <laughs> now let's look at some photographs what, about what those harmless flares were doing. See? So, you continue to say, well, they're just harmless. That's just sensationalism of a flare, a photograph taken in the night. Put the flare in your eye and tell me how harmless it is. Just put it close to it, a quarter of an inch close to your eye. You don't even have to touch, just a quarter of an inch and tell me. Now have it land in your hair and tell me it's harmless. Sea Shepherd has no right legally to do what they're doing by trying to burn down the Japanese vessel or cause harm to the Japanese mariners. The Japanese mariners would be within their legal right to eliminate this threat perpetrated upon them by these girly men, trust fund, coward babies. That's them kids. So maybe the Japanese mariners do not feel it's their position to do so other than to just to defend themselves from such attacks. Well, where's the Japanese Navy and the Okoska? Now, I understand diplomatically and internationally it will cause some disturbance if that was to happen, if a Japanese military vessel was to come into the waters there. And it may also take a week or so for it to get there. Now, how about a Japanese military jet? could fly there within a couple of hours, fire a shot over the bow of the rust bucket garbage guy belonging to the coward girly men who have soiled skivvies after that shot is fired over the bow. International law, they then have to adhere to the orders given to them by the military who fired that shot over the bow or be sunk by the second shot. So you could then order them into Tokyo Harbor and put these morons on trial for the damage they've attempted and did succeed doing upon your vessel. Now, you listen to me. You have to weigh the consequences between international condemnation or scorn or ridicule or the safety of your mariners. The safety of your mariners is paramount, I would think. All right, folks. <laughs> Commodore Tony signing off, and thank you, Sea Shepherd, for your stupidity. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. See ya.